Well, good morning. I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Granny Jean and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room, Mother uh, <clears throat> Tales for Tots program. Um, I know that we're all excited because guess what? Spring is around the corner. Yeah, just another week or two, right? Yeah, there's still some snow left on the ground though, right? Yeah, winter hasn't left us yet, no. But anyway, let's sing our hello song, shall we? <clears throat> the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. Well, I have a little bit of snow left in my yard. I think we'll make one last snowman before all the snow is gone. Huh? I think we should, right? But what do we have here? We just have a snowman, but he doesn't look much like a snowman. What does he need? Oh, the snow, can, and you help me now. You help me by clapping and singing with me. And mommies and nannies and daddies, if you can sing along with us, it would really make the program much more beneficial to your child. So here we go. <clears throat> the Mr. Snowman needs a hat, needs a hat. Mr. Snowman needs a hat, needs a hat. Mr. Snowman needs a hat. Now, what do you think of that? Mr. Snowman needs a hat, needs a hat. Mr. Snowman needs some eyes, needs some eyes. Mr. Snowman needs some eyes, needs some eyes. Mr. Snowman needs some eyes. Wow, what a surprise. Mr. Snowman needs some eyes, needs some eyes. Mr. Snowman needs a nose, needs a nose. Mr. Snowman needs a nose, needs a nose. And Mr. Snowman needs a nose. Ah, a carrot, I suppose. The deer will like that. Mr. Snowman needs a nose, needs a nose. Mr. Snowman needs a smile, needs a smile. Mr. Snowman needs a smile, needs a smile. Mr. Snowman needs a mile, smile. Well, that will take a little while. Mr. Snowman needs a smile, needs a smile. Oh, Mr. Snowman needs a scarf, needs some more scarf. Mr. Snowman needs a scarf, needs a scarf. Mr. Snowman needs some scarf and he'll need some mittens too. Oh no, he'll need some buttons too. And Mr. Snowman, he has some scarf and some buttons now. Yeah, there he goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, huh. Mr. Snowman needs some arms, needs some arms, right? Mr. Snowman needs some arms, needs some arms. Mr. Snowman needs some arms, needs some arms. Mr. Snowman needs some arms. Well, doesn't that add some charm? Mr. Snowman needs some arms, needs some arms. How about some mittens? I wonder who knitted them for him. Need to be some kittens, huh? Mr. Snowman needs some mittens, needs some mittens. Mr. Snowman needs some mittens, needs some mittens. Mr. Snowman needs some mittens. They were knitted by his kittens. <laughs> Mr. Snowman needs some mittens, needs some mittens. Okay, yay. So now we're gonna say goodbye to Mr. Snowman Ooh, as it melts away. And as all the snow does when the sun goes, is stronger and stronger. I see some little things blooming, do you? You see some little things blooming in your yard, just little teeny things, little green things coming up, huh? Yeah, spring is around the corner. I think we should wake Jack up. <clears throat> now, this is a French song and we can sing it in Fran French and we can sing it in English. I speak English. Some people speak Spanish. We speak different languages. Those are languages. So first we'll sing it in English, okay? And here it is. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, brother John. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding dong, ding, ding dong, ding. Come on, wake up, John. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding dong, ding. Ding dong, ding. 
<clears throat> now, if we lived in France, which is way across the ocean, we would be singing it in French, right? So pardon my poor French, but here we go. Frère et Jacques, Frère et Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne la matine, sonne la matine, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Now, Jacques is John in French. Yeah, that's the same name, but it's just uh, sounds different. Our <clears throat> Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonne la matine. I don't know anyone out that speaks French. I don't understand what I said. <laughs> I hope it, I, have, I haven't forgotten my French that badly. I'm not pretty I have. Well, <clears throat> let's see what I've done here. I've destroyed my fort. Oh, Wizzy Wizard. Where's he, wizard? Where are you? Oh, here he is. He has a tip for all our caregivers. And the tip of the week is when your child writes or draws, it's scribbled. Uh, talk to him or her. Sure, we can introduce uh, uh, to them new words. So that's how uh, their vocabulary builds. You listen to what they say, and then you rephrase it by using different words. Yeah, using the same thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I hear someone crying. Oh, how can someone cry on a beautiful day like today? It's windy out there though. Ooh, oh my goodness me, it's a little girl. Huh. And it must be springtime because she doesn't have any shoes on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. What should we tell her? Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Yeah. Come on, help me sing that. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. If I were standing up, I'd put my hand back there and wag my tail. Yeah. <clears throat> so my book today is, where is the green sheep? I don't see any green sheep. I see some white ones over there. And <clears throat> this is kind of a big book. I should have gotten a smaller one out of the library for this program. Where is the green sheep? by Mem Fox. I see a green bush. Do you see a green sheep? I go. Hmm. This is the blue sheep. Here is the blue sheep. And here is the red sheep. Here is the bat sheep. And here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? You see it? I don't. Here is the thin sheep. Here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. Oh, don't try that. That's very dangerous. But where is the green sheep? Oh. There. <clears throat> here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. See all the musical instruments in that band? This music. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep?
Here is the sun sheep. He's not green. Here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. Oh, he's having problems. And here is the train sheep. But where is the green sheep? I don't see it there. Here is the wind sheep. Oops. What's that called? A kite, right? And here is the wave sheep. Look at him in the ocean surfing. <clears throat> here is the scared sheep. Oh, he doesn't want to dive into that pool. But here is the brave sheep. Oh, he's not afraid to dive. He's been trained. But where is the green sheep? He's not there. Here is the near sheep. Where is the far sheep? Here is the moon sheep. Here is the star sheep. <clears throat> but where is the green sheep? You see the green sheep anywhere? I don't. I don't. Ooh. It's not in the sky. It's not, it's not having a picnic with the red and yellow and orange. Where is that green sheep? Turn the page quietly. Uh, let's take a peek. Here's our green sheep, fast asleep. Why do you think we didn't see him? Hmm? Well, he almost the color of that bush. Yeah, no. no, he's sort of camouflaged. Where is the green sheep by Mem Fox? <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> well, <clears throat> I looked out in my yard and there was a little flower opening up. I used to have a pussy willow bush, but not anymore. No, but I'll tell you what, it's very exciting when they start opening up. I know a little pussy, her coat is silver gray. She lives down in the meadow, not very far away. Although she is a pussy, she'll never be a cat. Cause she's a pussy willow. Now, what do you think of that? Meow, 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 meow. What is a pussy willow? Well, it's a shrub or a tree. And when it starts to bud out, here are the little buds of the flower. And they look just like, and they feel just like little kitty toes. Yeah, have you ever felt a little kitty toes paws? They feel like they're little toes. And then as it grows, it sort of gets fuzzier and fuzzier and boop, and all of a sudden there are leaves, right? But those are the little buds, the beginning of the flowers. So you see, things are starting to grow, even though it's still winter. Oh my goodness. The pussy willow. So here, you sing it with me. <laughs> I know a little pussy, her coat is silver gray. She lives down in the meadow, not very far away. Although she is a pussy, she'll never be a cat because she's a pussy willow. Now, what do you think of that? Meow, 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 meow. Scat. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> let's see. Pretty soon we'll be planting in our gardens, right? So how do we, what do we do when we plant um, a flower? Huh? We have a seed, right? Sure. Uh, first, the seed goes in the ground. Can you do that? Huh? Then the soil gets patted down. What's the soil? Is that the dirt here? We water it and watch it grow. 
Oh, it seems to grow so slow. But if we give it time and room, pretty soon we'll see a bloom. A bloom. That's a flower, right? A bloom. People bloom too, right? When they're growing and they're learning and all of a sudden they get it and they bloom, right? right. When you learn to tie your shoe, you bloomed. When you go to the potty hole by yourself, you bloomed, right? When you learn to read, you bloom, right? So here we go. First, the seed goes in the ground. Then the soil gets patted down. We water it and watch it grow. Oh, it seems to slow. But if we give it time, pretty soon we'll bloom. A bloom. It's a flower. Yeah. Blooming. And they bloom. That's a and that's what they're doing. They're blooming. They're opening up. Right. <clears throat> so, anyway, we have a book here about a birthday. You have a huh? Mouse is, oh, dear, oh, my book. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I'm taking a break. Intermission. <clears throat> Intermission. Oh, dear, Granny Jean. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we've got. Here we have a birthday party. Mouse's birthday by Jane Yolen and Bruce, <clears throat> and Bruce Dagan. And this mouse, we get a calendar and it says, my birthday. Look at his little house. Mouse's birthday. There he is in his bed, waking up in his little house. And his house is in a, what? A barn, a barn. So he must live on a farm, didn't you say? Huh? Mouse's house is very small. There it is in the hay. Look at that. Very small. Very small. Look at his bathtub, his little teacup. <laughs> Hardly any room at all for anyone but Mouse. There he is looking at the calendar. Oh, it's my birthday. In comes Cat upon his knees, carrying a gift of cheese trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. Look at that. Well, that's kind of a nice cat, right? In comes Dog upon his knees, carrying a pot of teas, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. There he is, the dog squeezes into. In comes cow upon her knees, carrying a bowl of peas, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> In comes horse upon his knees, carrying a pair of skis. Look at that, that was his gift. Trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. In comes Farmer on his knees, carrying a brown valise, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. Now I wonder what's in the valise. See that little suitcase thing? I wonder what's in there. Hmm. They all fit. Candles lit. Happy birthday to you, Mouse. And look at that. Mouse is so excited. We can't see him too well. There we go. There he is. 
in, in, in the farmer's hand there. Yeah. <laughs> Handle glows, mouse blows. And guess what everyone else does too? Ooh. Yeah, house goes whoosh. Look at that. Oh. Poor mouse. And look what happened. <laughs> no more house. Everyone's fine. Mouse's new house is very wide, very wide, very wide. Everyone can fit inside, including little mouse. Now look what was in that suitcase. It was a musical instrument called an accordion. Look at that, and the farmer's playing music for the party. What a nice party that is. To have friends and music, what could be better? And look at that mouse. <clears throat> such a happy little mouse because he has such good friends. <laughs> <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I wonder what that farmer's name was. Old MacDonald, do you think? Maybe. So here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can you help me sing? <clears throat> And on that farm, he had a mouse, E-I-E-I-O, with a squeak, squeak here and a squeak, squeak there. Here a squeak, there a squeak, everywhere a squeak, squeak. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow, meow here and a meow, meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Who came next? Huh, do you remember the dog? Now this dog doesn't look much like him, but this is a dog too. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a what? A cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo 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 here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a what? What came next? A horse, oh my goodness. On that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay, nay here and a nay, nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, we're still going to get some pretty nasty weather, I think, before the spring really huh, decides to stay a while. So huh, sometimes it's kind of fun to, when we're stuck inside, make some popcorn. What do you think, huh? And as I said, this is the way I used to make it when I was a little girl, either in the, on the stove in a big pot, or else we'd have a little basket that we'd shake over the flames. And there these children are popping corn in that little basket. Look at that. And they're over the fireplace. <laughs> a popcorn song. There we are. Sing a song of popcorn when the snowstorms rage. Fifty little round men put in a cage. Shake them till they laugh and leap, crowding to the top. I'll watch them burst their little coats. Pop, pop, pop. There they are. <laughs> let's, let's do that again and see. I'll take this and put it over here. <clears throat> And this way you'll be able to see the picture better, I think. How's that? Oops. <clears throat> Sing a song of popcorn when the snow storms rage. Fifty little round men put in a cage. Shake them till they laugh and leap, crowding to the top. Watch them burst their little coats. Pop, pop, pop. Hmm.
Well, talk about blooming. This is a little baby tiger that just isn't doing what his, <clears throat> his friends are <clears throat> yet. And it's called Leo the Late Bloomer. Remember what we said? We blossom out into like a flower. We blossom or we bloom, right? Leo and the Late Bloomer um, by Robert Krauss. And there is the baby tiger. And daddy's a little bit worried about him, <clears throat> but mommy knows better. Leo the Late Bloomer. <clears throat> Leo couldn't do anything. He's probably still a baby. I think so. He couldn't read. Look at all his friends reading. Look at the snake is reading. Oh my goodness. He couldn't write. But they all wrote their names, owl, elephant, snake, <clears throat> clover, crocodile. Look, he just draws lines. And he couldn't draw. Oh, look, I made a face. He was a sloppy eater. Everyone else was pretty neat, but oh, he made a mess. And he never said a word. And all of his friends are hooting and trumpeting, hissing, beep, 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 crunch. But not, not Leo. There he is. Very quiet. What's the matter with Leo? Asked Leo's father. Nothing, said Leo's mother. Leo is just a late bloomer. Well, better late than never, thought Leo's father. He's a little worried. Every day, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. Look, sneaking around, looking through, <clears throat> peeking around at him, really <clears throat> kind of nervous. And every night, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. Are you sure Leo's a bloomer? Asked Leo's father. Patience, said Leo's mother. A watched bloomer doesn't bloom. So Leo's father watched television instead of Leo. <laughs> Is he really watching television? What's he doing? He's peeking around the corner watching the game. And the snows came. Leo's father wasn't watching. But Leo still wasn't blooming. Look where his father is in the snowbank, peeking, see if he blooms yet. There are all his friends playing in the snow. And Leo is just jumping in. And the trees budded. Leo's father wasn't watching, but Leo still wasn't blooming. There's Leo sitting down there. He just picked up a flower, but daddy's but over here still looking at him. <laughs> then one day, in his own good time, Leo bloomed. He could read, he could write. Oh, Leo. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> Leo. He could draw and he ate neatly. He also spoke and it wasn't just a word. It was a whole sentence and that sentence was I made it. Sure. <clears throat> we all are blooming. Sure we are. We're all learning. And once we start learn, stop learning, it's too
too bad. Even old people still learn. Sure we do. We're still blooming. <coughs> Let's see. <clears throat> do you know where your thumb is? I'm sure some of us do. Mm -hmm. Do you know where your pinky is? It's a little finger. Let's hide all those fingers. Now, this game is probably a little bit too complicated for most of our little preschoolers. But nannies and mommies help them and show them the different fingers and digits of their hand. Where is Thumbkin? Where is Thumbkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is tall man? Where is tall man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is ring lady? Where is ring lady? Oh, because Granny G just has such a hard time with this one. <clears throat> Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. <clears throat> Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Here we are. Here we are. How are you today, friends? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Good job. <coughs> well, maybe that farmer had some pigs. What do you think? I have five little pigs. Now, this is a game that my mom used to play with me, my little toes when I was getting <clears throat> ready for bed. Sort of a distraction to this is me. I didn't want to go to bed. I don't know. So here we go. <laughs> Pretend it. you can do it with your hands, right? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. And she tickled me right up to my chin. So here we go. This little piggy went to market. And this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. But this little piggy had none. And this little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. Long time ago, a long time ago. Well, look who <clears throat> did go to bed. And he went to bed and he went to sleep before he even got ready for bed. Right? Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. Well, my goodness me, <clears throat> we're going to have to try and get your jammies on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. Oh, sure, we get so tired playing. Sometimes we just fall asleep before it's, we get ready for bed. Absolutely. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song, right? So bye-bye to the pussy willows. It's so good to see you. And bye-bye to the horse. And the little mouse, and happy birthday to you too. And have, let's see, goodbye to Frere Jaca, right? Brother John, <laughs> Frere Jaca. And bye bye to the sheep and little Bo Peep. And bye bye to Granny Jean. Bye bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>